Hey everybody, Donovan Pyle here, and I want to do a quick video on competition in group health insurance, okay? Now, most people think that there are only four solutions for their health plan every year, right? You pick from one of the four companies that you've seen all the time, and that's it. But in reality, there are tons and tons of solutions out there in the marketplace, and that's a beautiful thing. I'm a free market guy. I love competition. I think it's great for consumers, but the downside of that competition and all that, that dynamicism in a, in a marketplace is that there are some bad products out there, okay? So one, I think one of the highest value things that we do at Health Compass for our clients is vet the marketplace. And we meet with these health plans every single week to learn what they're doing and score them. We actually score them, okay? And so we do that because too many employers we find are just comparing health plans based on a summary of benefits and coverage, right? They're comparing the deductibles, the co-pays, the networks, and the rates, right? That's what they're looking at. But you really, to do it properly and make sure make sure we're really uh, mitigating risk for our clients, you have to go way deeper than that into the group level of the plan. Like, what does the actual plan document say? That's the contract, right? That's where all the good stuff can live or the really nasty stuff. So I think competition's great, but consumers really need to be careful when they're looking at some of these newer level-funded products are out there, uh, these newer unbundled self-funded products, all this kind of stuff. And, um, there's just a lot of landmines that you can step in. So you wanna make sure that you're working with a certified expert to help you navigate these turbulent waters. And um, what are they? How do you know you're working with a certified expert? Well, two different certifications you need to look for. Uh, the Registered Employee Benefits Consultant designation awarded by the National Association of Insurance and Benefits Professionals and or the Certified Health Value Professional, which is awarded by Validation Institute. Those are the highest ones in the industry. Most brokers just have insurance licenses and that's that means they're more likely to create risk than manage it. So anyway, that's my lesson for today. Talk to you later.